Lake House Vlogs. Today's uh, video is a homeschooling video and I'm just going to share with you the steps that I took to get ready to start homeschooling my children. So for those of you who are new to my channel, we are a family, we've got four children and we live in Western Australia and this year is our very first year homeschooling three of our children. Now I am a teacher, I am a early childhood teacher so I do have a background um, in teaching um, and yeah as I said this is our very first year homeschooling and so I just thought I would share the steps that I took once my husband and I and our family we had made the decision to start homeschooling. These are the steps that the, I then took to get ready to start our homeschooling year this year which is 2019. So the very first thing that I did was um, that I wrote out my goals and, and the things that I wanted my children to really learn this year. So I really looked at the different ch um, children that I had, their age levels and their abilities, and then what, uh, what we really value as a family and really want our children to learn. And so the things, just for example, the things that we really value are um, we're Christians, so we value God. So I really want them to, to love reading the Bible, know how to use their Bible, know how to interpret it, uh, know that they're a child of God, that they are loved and that they are precious in his eyes and, and all those kind of things. And, and then, of course, I want them to know how to read and how to write. Um, and I want them to know mathematic skills. Um, and then I want them to know about their community, where they live, um, the world around them, all that kind of stuff. So all of those things I um, would jot down. I had a big piece of paper and I wrote down all of the hopes, dreams, plans, things that I wanted to teach them this year. Then the second thing I did was actually jump over to the edu education department website and I will link that website below so that you can have a look. And um, as I said, we live in Western Australia, so I headed to the West Australian Education Department website and on the website you can find links to all of the learning areas for each grade. So I went on there and I read up, okay, so my son is in grade five. What is it that the um, education department expect him to know in grade five? What do they expect him to learn this year? And I just familiarized myself with the uh, syllabus and the curriculum outcomes for each um, of my children's ages. And they can be a bit tricky to read and understand. And I'm a teacher and even I'm like, oh, this is a lot of information. Um, so... What I actually did, and I will link this to, I went to uh, Teachers Pay Teachers and I found on there that this wonderful lady, she had actually um, taken, sorry, I don't know if you can hear that noise. It's not my kids, it's the movie that they're watching. I put on a movie for them to watch to distract them while I was doing my video, but it's actually distracting me, sorry. Back to what I was saying. So I found a lady on there and she had taken the curriculum outcomes and put them into a really super easy understand checklist. Um, and it's just easy to read through. It has each of the um, uh, kind of things they need to learn in user-friendly language with just a checkbox so that you can just check off, yes, we have, we have done that. Um, and so I will link that below and I printed that off and I have that in my file um, Super super cool just to keep checking back. Yes. Am I on the right track? Uh, what do we need to do and you can you can tick that off? So after I familiar familiarized myself with the curriculum and what they're expected to learn then I just hit the internet hard and I did so much research and there's so much information out there it is amazing and I would just, I hopped onto YouTube and I just found homeschooling mamas and I would just watch their YouTube channel to see what curriculum they were using, how they were using it, what their day looked like and then I would just go and look up all of the curriculum that they were using and it was so cool. You just find one curriculum and then you would find the next and the next and next. There's so much information out there. There's lots of reviews on YouTube that you can watch. 
Um, even when you uh, find a curriculum, often they'll give you a free download sample of their curriculum. So you can download samples, you can read through and just really work out what um, you want to do. There is so much available now, it's incredible. And living in, um, as I said, Australia, a lot of the curriculum I found is American, but you can use it in Australia and a lot of the curriculum Obviously shipping from the States to Australia is super expensive, but a lot of the curriculum that I found do offer a PDF download option. So you can just purchase a PDF download and then you can print out the curriculum um, at your home or you can take it to Officeworks. I have heard at Officeworks that it is a bit expensive to have printing done there. So what we did, we actually are using some of the good and the beautiful curriculum and we bought the PDF download and we have printed it ourselves. And we actually just approached my husband's boss, he works in an office, and just explained to them we were homeschooling and would they mind if we printed our curriculum at their office and we would pay for the printing that, that we would do. And his boss is super lovely, super kind and said, yes, absolutely, you can do do that and so that has been a really inexpensive option for us to print our curriculum I'm so thankful for that so as I said lots out there I will link below some of the curriculum that we're using so that you can go and have a look and then you can decide for yourself but there is so much out there a lot of the good and the beautiful that we use their language arts program is actually for free and it's so there's lots out there for free or that is very inexpensive and so just research hard I love researching on the internet there's so much out there research and and you'll just you'll find amazing things that are available okay once I had done my research then obviously deciding okay which is the best curriculum for me what am I going to try um, and then resource that curriculum. So there's plenty of curriculum available on Facebook pages secondhand if you wanted to go that route. So find some Facebook pages um, that are homeschool related and there, there are buy and sell Facebook pages and you can look for secondhand curriculum. As I said, there is the PDF download options um, that you can print um, where and as you like and so plenty of options or you can just order physical copies as well and uh, the thing that we've been found, finding is that you don't really know if a curriculum is going to work for you until you actually start using it. So I encourage you to make a decision on the curriculum that you want to use. Just purchase a little bit or even the free sample um, and just give it a go and see if it works for you. And don't feel that you're locked into any curriculum. If you get something and you're using it and you discover actually this is doesn't really suit my children or our learners style don't feel that you have to finish out that curriculum you can as I said sell it on those Facebook page and then find something that works for you then the next thing I did was try and work out a daily rhythm that suited our family so what was gonna what was homeschool gonna look like in the lake house how many days a week were we going to school how many hours a day what subjects would we fit in the morning and in the afternoon all those kind of things and that's a journey that we're still going um, through we're a few weeks into our homeschool year and we're still kind of working out a rhythm and it's super super flexible in our household we're super flexible with the days off that we're going to have I generally like to homeschool just four days a week and sometimes we'll have a Monday off or sometimes we'll have a Friday off so that's pretty fluid depending on what's happening in my and my husband's life with work we are senior leaders of a church and so um, <laughs> just a second baby hey come to see what mama's doing hey here's Jackson can you say hi hi everybody hi everybody <laughs> yeah so working out a routine that suits your family because each family is different and unique and what we're finding is we as I said we have four children three are doing homeschool and then I have a toddler and often um, 
yeah, it's depending on how he's going to what our day looks like. And so my children are often distracted by Jackson's super cuteness. And so all of those subjects that they really need to focus and have my attention, we would usually do them in the morning when their brain is fresh and they're ready to go. But that's when Jackson's awake. So we tend to do those subjects when Jackson goes down for a nap. And so just work out what really fits for you and your family because every family is different. All children are different and what works for me won't work for you. So go and, and you won't know what for me, yeah, for me, for you. <laughs> and you won't know what is going to work for you until you actually get into the process and start homeschooling. I had all of these hopes, dreams and plans and I didn't know what it was going to look like until we actually started homeschooling. So start homeschooling, work out your rhythms, your routines and what suits best for you and go with that. <laughs> So they're all the steps that I took to get ready to start homeschooling. And then I just jumped with two feet into the process and just got started. And as I have got started, then bye I... Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, then as I got started, then I started working things out. Like, actually, this curriculum's not working. I'm going to find something different. Or this routine is not working, I'm going to try something different. And just shape and mould your homeschooling um, as you go. I am also at the beginning of my getting registration registered process um, to be a homeschooler. I have um, registered with my state that I'm going to be homeschooling and they uh, sent me out a certificate to say, yes, you're registered for homeschool. I've yet to meet with my moderator. I'm about to set up an appointment and I'm going to meet with her um, and she will come and meet me and we'll discuss what it is that we're going to do. Um, so I can't speak too much into that process at the moment, but as soon as I know a little bit about um, how the moderation process goes, I'll put a video up. Um, because uh, that's usually the biggest, that was my biggest question when I started homeschooling. What does um, the moderation process look like for homeschool? How um, much do I have to show my moderator? What is it that she wants to see or know? How often is she going to come and visit me? Do I have to have a whole list of records to show her? They're all the questions that I had um, and I don't know the answers to those yet. So as soon as my uh, moderator comes and I find out more information, I would love to share that with you um, because that was the biggest thing that I, for information that I was looking for that I just couldn't find. So um, hopefully I have a good experience and I can share that with you. He's back. Okay, so there you go. They're all the steps that I took to get ready for homeschooling. Um, I hope you found them interesting. Check out all the links below. I'll pop some links down there for um, all the things that I mentioned during this video. And thanks for watching. If you are enjoying my channel, please press the subscribe button that's below and give this video a big thumbs up. Can you do thumbs up? A big thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Say bye.